Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix AI generated seamless patterns in Photoshop. Basically, my channel and AI related stuff, these videos that I'm going to be putting out, are going to be talking about how to use AI art to build assets and stuff that you're going to use in projects to create art rather than using AI to create a final piece. So if that sounds good to you and you want to learn more about that, make sure you subscribe because I got a lot of these coming up. Uh, right here, this background here is a uh, generated pattern. Uh, so basically, you know, this is something, this is an example of how you can use AI art to, um, you know, generate assets. And I'm going to show you how to make this with, uh, so I'm not going to use, I'm going to show you how to fix the issues that pop up when you do stuff like this in AI art. So basically in AI, I have generated a seamless pattern. So I'm not going to show you the AI stuff in particular uh, because this will work with kind of anything. Uh, this one was done in mid journey i believe but i use mid journey and dolly but any any ai you're using should accept this formula so basically the formula you're going to use is a floral pat floral seamless pattern so you can say whatever in that particular one with the squares i had used a cyberpunk seamless pattern you could do polka dot seamless pattern um you know birthday seamless pattern anything you can think of so a seamless pattern most AIs, or the ones I've used, will recognize that term and make a seamless pattern. If you need a couple more things to use to train the AI to kind of get what you, not train the AI, but make the AI understand what you're looking for, you can use uh, wallpaper, wrapping paper, and fatter, fabric pattern. Those uh, three keywords have helped a little bit in certain scenarios. And it's gonna, you're going to get your final piece. So what you want to do is open it up in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to, if you go to view and you go to pattern view, uh, it's going to give you this thing that says it works best with um, smart objects. You can ignore that for now because uh, basically we just want to see how this matches up. And with this pattern specifically, because it was so square, because it's got that cyber feel, great. This one worked and sometimes it works and everything's good. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't. So this one I generated with uh, what I just showed you, a floral seamless pattern. It The AI understands I'm looking for a seamless pattern, so it's trying to match up, you know, things on the top and bottom and the corners. Uh, let's go ahead and view this and see how this works. So we're going to go to View, Pattern Preview, and we're going to hit OK. OK, and if we hit the F key to go into full screen mode, and uh, we can use the uh, space bar to do the hand. We can kind of move around here. We can see that as we zoom in and out and everything, we can see that, yeah, this did create a seamless pattern. However, um, you know, you can definitely see the seams. It's not perfect. AI understood what we wanted, but it did not get it exact. So here's a good way of how, how can we go in and fix this? Well, you know, we got a couple things we can do here. The first would be, uh, to go ahead and make a new layer uh, and use the clone stamp tool. So over here, it's uh, the S key is the short key. Make a new layer. We want to make sure we have sample all layers at the top here selected. And really, we don't even really need to be in the uh, box here. We can kind of move wherever we want. And... Uh, if you're not familiar with the clone stamp tool, you just want to hit the option alt key, depending on if you're a Mac or PC, and click somewhere. And then the brush is going to kind of turn into where you just clicked. So basically, we can click up there and we can kind of start like fading this in. I have my opacity at 50%, so it's not so harsh of a fade. Uh, but we can do this with the top and bottom. And we can just kind of start coming in and fixing these seams. So this is one way that we can go ahead. And of course, you got to take your time. But as you can see, we're already with that seam there. Uh, 
you know, we're, we're getting rid of that scene. Uh, another example, let me go to another one we generated. So here's, here's another thing I generated with AI art. Um, let's go ahead and let's go into view. Pattern preview. Hit OK. And we're going to hit F to go into full screen so we can move around with the hand tool. Uh, so as we can see, again, it understood what we were looking for, but it did not get it right. We have a lot of uh, resizing issues. This is the other thing that's going to come up a lot. Uh, so one way to do this is we can just go in. First, I'm going to take the background layer and double click it. I'm just going to rename it to zero. Uh, we're going to go over here to the lasso tool. And we're just going to lasso this here. Because all I'm going to do is grab it. And I'm just going to create a new layer and just stretch it out and, you know, kind of make it fit. This is an easy way to do it. However, I do want to show you something. So I'm about to hit copy and paste. However, because we went out of the square here and onto the top, it also selected down here, which is what we don't want. So let me just do this to show you kind of what we don't want. And then I'll show you how to fix it. So command C, command V, copy, paste, command T. Um, now we're just going to stretch this out a little bit. See, we don't want that top layer up here. So let me just throw this out. And I'm going to go back in with the lasso tool. We're going to lasso this. We can go up ahead over there, get what we want. However, now we want to come to this bottom here and we want to select the uh, rectangle and we just want to hold option or alt, depending on if you're Mac or PC, go here, just get rid of that. Now we only have this selected, uh, Command-C, Command-V, copy-paste. Now Command-T, that's all we have there. So now, um, depending on your keyboard configuration, you might have to hold Shift just to go wider. And we just kind of want to line that up. We can zoom in a little more. Hit Enter. And now, as we look over, this is more uh you know you don't see that as much however same thing we still have uh the issue of it's still the color is kind of not looking right so again let's make a new layer let's make sure we have uh stamp tool selected and all layers selected line through there so let's go ahead and fix that uh we got a new layer here we're going to make sure we have the stamp tool selected and we're going to go to all layers and we're just going to kind of select on this yellow line here and let's just kind of draw this down a little bit. Let's select over here, just kind of draw this down and we're just going to kind of keep doing this. And as you can see, while that didn't turn out great, um, it does break up that line. And that's basically what we're looking to do here is just go in, um, resize, use the stamp tool. That's going to fix like 90% of the problems here. The corners do get a little crazy. Let me show you one more trick. Let's create a new layer. Let's just go right with the brush tool. We're going to select a color here. And we can just go ahead and just kind of repaint this object here and just kind of add our own, select the black and kind of go around and crispen this up a little bit. And then maybe we're just going to kind of go all white with it here. And then maybe we want to select the stamp tool, select this and put some of this texture back in. And we can do that pretty easily. One other issue we run into with seamless patterns is like a color issue here, where sometimes the color is close but off. And instead of using, we could use, just use the stamp tool and that's no problem. But also what we could do is uh, dodge and burn it. So up here we have uh, dodge tool, burn tool and sponge. Uh, if we go to the, let's go to the dodge tool for this one. Um, 
if we click here, we're going to get an error that says the dodge tool is not supported with symmetry and pattern preview. So we're using pattern preview, unsupported. However, it's supported within the borders here. So right here, if we want to lighten this up, let's go to layers. So we want to go to the highlight range and I just keep like a low exposure and kind of build up. Um, or we can go to midterns, whatever. You can kind of play with this, but basically, um, see how we're just lightening this square up here to kind of match it more. And then also, so I can't click in here because I'm outside of the border with it, but that is going to be right up here. So now if I go to the other side and kind of uh, click in there, and do that and then we can kind of move over here to see where that circle is we can start to see that it's matching a lot better and then uh, we can go into a new layer and again we can click get the correct color and we can just use the brush tool to uh, you know to touch up some of these other lines that aren't quite matching right so there you have it, a couple techniques you can use to fix your seamless patterns that were generated in AI to kind of finalize them and make them full uh, usable patterns. And then of course, the one thing that I did not show you that I will right now real quick, uh, let's go ahead and get out of pattern view here. To actually make a pattern here, we wanna hit Command A to select everything. And then we wanna go to edit, we want to go to define pattern and we can name this pattern. I already have this pattern, but uh, let's change that. And then let's double click this layer. Let's go pattern overlay. And then as you can see, your pattern will show up in uh, the thing here. So there's some other patterns I generated. Uh, it's, it's very powerful. Using AI for patterns is very powerful and you know, you don't have to have a mindset of you're using AI for your full project and you're getting a finalized piece. Using AI for like elements of other art is something that this channel is going to focus on. I hope you dig it. I hope you subscribe. And we got more videos coming up. See you next time.